boy it's going to be, especially after the last two games, like let's get off to a quicker start in the first half on Monday? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know if anybody can ever figure out how to do that. Let me know, you know, it, it's just not, I mean, guys are, they're going to have good games, they're going to have bad games. It's, it's just the nature of it. Again, what we have to do is be dialed in defensively, things that we know that we can impact. You have to be able to control the controllables. And so what we can control is our energy. We had 40 energy points, which is our goal. We, we had, a, 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 I think it was 23 at the half. All right, so that, that was really good. And so just to be able to, to get out there, have deflections, be gritty when you need to, get the stops that you need to, and, and we can correct, you know, fouling three-point shooters and, 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 and things of that nature. But uh, if you don't have the fight internally, we were never going to win this game. And fortunately, our guys did. Seemed like Kareem Thompson came up big with yeah. down the stretch for yeah. you. Yeah. He, he's such a Swiss Army knife for us. You know, he can rebound. He, he's had eight assists. He's currently leading the league in assists. Um, he's got a phenomenal assist to turnover ratio. He can score. Uh, but his hand on basketballs and, and, and making plays there late, um, he can do that. And, I mean, we would be in so much trouble. Uh, every team needs a, a, a Kareem, and he made huge plays down the stretch for us, specifically defensively. Well, what do you think about South Dakota? I guess the only team in the conference that you haven't played. Yeah, I mean, they, they are one of those teams you're talking about just matching up, cause a lot of problems. And they, they uh, I probably now, I know we were one at shooting the three at a little north of 42%. They weren't far behind us. After our shooting performance tonight, I'm sure they've surpassed us. But they, they can really shoot. They can shoot from four different spots. Um, they can put a lineup out there that can have five different spots. So th they do a number of, of very good things that, that cause problems. And they want to kind of get in the pace uh, and get up and down and score in the 80s. So um, we don't mind that. Uh, and, and so hopefully uh, it, it'll, they, they have to travel. Fortunately, we don't. So uh, we'll, we'll see how this plays out on, on Monday night against a good South Dakota team. And uh, shifting back to tonight's game, what'd you think of Markel Sutton? Really good player, you know. Can, can I mean he had made a three all year. First one looked like it was effortless, and uh, you know I know he finished one for two from three. But uh, I, I thought I thought Markel went when they introduced him. I was like, is half the crowd here for him? Uh, but you know, uh, really good player can stretch the floor, make 15, 17 footers, good offensive rebounder. I know he led him in offensive rebounding. So, um, uh, I, I take that back. Uh, he was second in offensive rebounding, but I mean, phenomenal player and, and getting a lot out of his ability in his first year under coach Crutchfield. And anything else you'd like to say about your team tonight? Let's win Monday night. What a tremendous crowd. Uh, the crowd was phenomenal. It's a fantastic environment. Uh, they they fueled us on there at the end, and I don't know that uh, we could have done this without them. And uh, we are thankful. And uh, we only have three left, and uh, I, uh, we can play a lot better offensively. But you saw a group there with a lot of fight.